Now is the time. We hear Mark telling us in chapter 1, verse 15, that Jesus said, now is the time. Here comes God's kingdom. Change your hearts and lives and trust this good news. Now is the time. Mark Jesus has been baptized, tempted in the wilderness for 40 days, and now it's time to begin his ministry. Church, now is the time. I challenge you this morning to embrace the 40 days of Lent. Now is the time. The time to change your hearts and lives. Change your actions during this season of Lent. It's good to give up something but it would also be better if you did something. If you did something that you have never done before, or do something that you haven't done in a long time. Something in your church, something in your community, something in mission and ministry, now is the time. Wouldn't it be awesome on Easter Sunday morning when we celebrate the risen Savior that you can also celebrate that you rose to the challenge of actually taking on one or more new practices. Practices that will draw the circle wide. That you did something extraordinary out of the ordinary. This time is now. You cannot let the business of your everyday life squeeze out the importance of caring, loving, supporting, giving, and doing. Lent is the perfect time to intentionally do something to enrich your life and the lives of others. What if you led the morning prayer like Brother Wendell did this morning? Somebody might be blessed. What if you shared your testimony? Others might be encouraged. What if there was a song in your heart you wanted to hear and you came to Brother Richard and the choir and said, you, 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 this is in your heart and, and you want to hear it? That song may inspires someone else as you hear the heavenly voices sing. What if you volunteered your time to support a program? You just might make a difference in someone's life. What if you advertised your church services and ministries in some form to reach the people? You just might see new faces. What if you found a hook to attract young folks? You might just get some energy up in here, a little bit of clapping and a more amen coming from the young folks. What if you came up with, with and shared an idea for a fundraiser to support mission and ministry. It just might be successful. Now is the time. 
let the ministry begin within and without, internally and externally. Put a flame to the light that you have let grow dim. You are empowered, empowered, empowered by the Holy Spirit to let go and give it up for the Lord. Now is the time. Shake yourself loose. Shake off contentment. Shake off I like things the way they are. Shake it off. Get energized, get creative, get innovative, and get motivated during these 40 days of Lent. Two or three can gather in God's name. And, and, and yes, God is with us. But what if, oh, what if, what would happen if we draw the circle wide? Let go of our little circles. Make one big circle and keep making it wider and wider and wider. Now is the time. But, but church, it begins with you. Us, we, me. Let's make wonderful things happen in the life of the church. Pray, read a poem, sing like you love the Lord, clap your hands so that you want God to hear you, say amen like you really mean it, do something for someone you don't know, volunteering in the community, making special financial gifts to service organizations, increase your tithes and offering, sing in the choir, come join the choir, Participate in Sunday school in a small group setting. Call a visit the sick and shut in. Have a special prayer gathering. You know, there's such thing as a conference call. Hook up. Get together on the phone. Come into the 21st century. We don't always have to have meeting after meeting after meeting. There are conference calls. And if you have a conference call, perhaps you could get more folks involved. Support upcoming events. Get the word out about our church. Invite someone to worship with you. And, and I'm repeating because I want you to understand it. I want you to hear this morning that now is the time. You, you have 40 days to kind of do something different. And the youth and I were talking about today, you know, they said, you know, one of their parent, uh, friend's parents said, yeah, she was going to do something, I believe, exercise more. Yes, doing that. She said, and it's a shame that a United Methodist youth have to ask, do United Methodists do that? Do United Methodists give up something? Whoa, church, where we've been, what we've been talking about, what's Lent been about? We ought to know that during this time, it's a time of repentance. Because now repentance is if you're doing something you have been doing that you shouldn't be doing, now you need to give it up and don't do it no more. Especially, you have an opportunity, okay? But yes, you can give up something. I told him I like my Cherry Garcia ice cream. I ain't gonna tell God I'm gonna give up that. But, but, but you know, because you got to be careful what you say to the Lord. I'm gonna give up something, and then the next day, you know, you're back doing again. But the good thing about the good Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, you can ask for forgiveness and, and repent, amen? But now is the time. Now is the time. Yes, during the 40 days of Lent, give up something if you so choose. Fast if you so choose. Pray in your closet if you so choose. Reflect if you so choose. Rest if you so choose. But also, Choose to do something.
healthy. Something different in your Christian walk. Step off the curve. Step outside of your comfort zone. I, I know when I, when I saw Brother Andrew at one of our ecumenical services and I looked up and I, I saw him in the choir, I said, oh my goodness, I almost grabbed my heart. He was up there and, and his mouth was open and he's singing. I'm like, what happened to that? I haven't seen him here in the choir singing. Oh, but he was praising God, a whole chorus. Oh, I was like, oh, but I ain't say nothing. I didn't come back and say, Brother Andrew, why you ain't singing on the choir? I didn't do that, but amen. He was lifting up his voice in praise. Come out of your comfort zone. Step off of the curb. Church, it's short and sweet this morning. It's not a whole lot. I I'm getting ready to sit down. All I want you to do is to draw the circle wide. Draw the circle wide. Someone may just be waiting to receive a blessing, not from me, not from Brother Richard, not from Brother Wendell, not from Sister May, from you. Someone out there is waiting for you. You, not me. And if you don't step up and step off the curve, now is the time, then that person, those persons may not receive their blessing. Now is the time. Now is the time. Do something. Give God all the praise. Do something as we begin those 40 days of Lent. Come up here and pray. Come and do something. Let the lay leader, let Sister Mildred know, I'm going to give the prayer this Sunday. Tell Brother Richard, you know, I'm not going to come to rehearsal, but, but if you have some songs that I know, I'll come and stand in the choir. It, it give, give Sister May and Sister Debbie a break. What about one of you stepping up and ushering for a morning? One morning, that's all you need to do. What about if you come to Sister Stephanie and say, you know, I'll be happy to read the scripture for you this morning. Or, or what about if you come to them and say, you know, there's an outreach ministry that I know. I know the youth would be interested in doing it. They just gave a, a close to the salvation. All. You see, let the children lead you. The youth has been doing this since they formed their youth in action. We just hadn't put a label to it, but they have been drawing the circle wide. They invited you to participate in the Christmas pageant. They invited you to help them to gather clothes for the Salvation Army. They are beginning to draw, do I need to get rid of everybody else in the church and just focus on my youth? <laughs> I don't know, you know, I, I may just have to do that, go down there and get my little ones, because they were, they were ready this morning, amen? They were ready this morning. But we do have a church, a loving church that embraces everyone who comes in. So let us continue to do that. And there are some of you who are doing things in our community. I, I'm going to give you a story next Sunday about Sister May. And none of you may know that, but that's drawing the circle wide. Amen. So, do something. That's all I want to tell you this morning. It's short and sweet. I hope it was short and sweet. But do something to draw the circle wide. Now is the time. Can I get an Amen. Another amen? amen? Praise God. Praise God.